top row is all based on dealing damage. Uh, Skaven are pretty weak, so you know all these cards from Incredible Strength, Great Strength, and these Shade Glass cards are really good with Skaven because they allow you to, to get that extra bump in damage. The next group of cards, these 10, are for uh, helping you flip your Skaven. All of them ch help you choose friendly characters or, um, well actually just these eight here, help you choose friendly characters so that way they flip and then give them a bonus of like movement or uh, returning them to the battlefield or swapping places with other characters. These cards like Confusion are really good in Skaven because they allow you to pick two of your characters and inspire both of them at once. Um, and then cards like Earthquake and Great Concussion are relatively new, uh, but they're excellent for keeping your opponent away from you or off objectives. And if you set yourself up properly, you can move yourself onto all the objectives without requiring you to use any movement, and it'll give you a chance to draw more cards throughout the game. This last row here, these are mostly, they're all equipment cards. The keys are just for scoring points at the end of the game. So you know, typically I'll just surprise my opponent by playing a key. So they have to either deal with the key and the rat on the objective or you know, deal with the rest of my army. Soul Trap is just to keep Stretch alive. And then Skitter Scurry is an excellent card for movement. You can gain uh, an additional move of two when making a charge action because a charge action is really two actions. So they get to move and then push and then move and then push. Uh, I like to start out with a lot of cheap objectives. So these first six, um, typically trying to score them in the first uh, action round just to get enough points to play upgrades and deal more damage or you know move my guys around. Uh, Supremacy and On Our Way are, are excellent cards if you can capture three objectives in the first turn, it really puts you ahead. In, in the very beginning of the game, that's really good. Uh, and they're great at the end of the game as well. Uh, Stritch is the greatest. If he kills a, you know, an enemy character, that's a little more difficult to, to score on round one, but in round two and three, uh, it's pretty good. This is really easy to score in round two and three, just stand at the same objective for two rounds. Making a statement is a nice uh, finisher. You know, you get a couple guys in your enemy territory and just put them on objectives and, and you score three points. And then if you can't make, if you can't do making a statement, denial's pretty good. Uh, if you can keep your enemy in their own territory, um, you can usually score denial, keeping them out of your own. All right, so I'm gonna be playing uh, the Fire Slayers today. Um, this is gonna be my uh, deck I've built. Um, the first like five of these cards are all sort of um, movement to objective based. Um, that's how they flip is ending a uh, action phase on an objective so it's important to get to them since I'm movement too um, and then throughout the deck like these group of cards are all kind of just upgrades to try to um, make them better at killing stuff make them less likely to die this is basically a health potion but um, them specific uh, I've got a couple of like um, like inspire someone for free because they're kind of hard to inspire moving an objective around it's very objective based um, I got three of the keys in the deck uh, I think any card that lets you get victory um, the little golden coins without using your 12 cards that you can have is fantastic since it's how you win um, and that's kind of the deck I've built around fire slayers this is my um, objective deck um, kind of similar to to Josh's the Skaven one. I've got a whole bunch of hold objectives and then supremacy and genius objectives which are hold multiple and get more coins for them. Since my army kind of revolves around being on objectives, having objective based objectives seems objectively good. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, I've got my um, gold supremacy. Uh, I had to open a lot of packs to get that one. I've got um, and then a couple of easy objectives that you kind of get by playing the game, like defensive strike, kill someone in your own territory. I don't typically leave much because I only move two inches, or two, two Wait. squares. What? I didn't realize there was a golden supremacy. Yeah, well, and I missed out. I took all the other ones. You, you gotta, you gotta play more. You just gotta open those boxes. You gotta put in the time. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I got furious charge, which is kill someone by charging. Um, you know, fury of the lodge, everyone charges. 
That one I could probably almost, I think that's what that, yeah. That one I could almost pull out just because it's so, It's it forces you to do a thing anyway. Um, and then your leader kills a guy. And that's my, uh, that's my deck. I'll be the black dice. I'll be the white dice. All right. We're rolling to see who places the board first. I got nothing. I got two double supports. And that means darn. Actually, that if I if I lose, I place the board, right? If you lose, you place the board second. I don't know, you place, no, I place it you first. You place it first. I decide the orientation of the boards. All right. And then you get to place the first objective. All right, excellent. So I'm gonna put this board out. Riveting, I'm sure. <laughs> that, was, that was intense. I wasn't sure how you were going to set this up. I set up the board first, and he got to choose the orientation of the boards. I get to place the first random objective anywhere on the map, as long as it's not on a spawn tile or on an edge Do tile. Do I cut that? Always cut. Always cut. Always cut. Cut. Uh, I'm going to put my first objective... <laughs> Right here. Go there. I'll go right there. Oop. Well, I should do that one. There you go. And then I'll place my last one here on the edge because the last one you can always put on the edge. And we flip. One and four, huh? Now we draw our cards. So we've shuffled our decks. Always cut the deck. Always cut oh, the deck. Always cut the deck. Always cut the always. deck. And, and here's a trick for you people at home. Um, this is a trick I learned from my grandma. She plays a lot of cards. Thin to when. Okay? Thin to when. So you want to take take a stack, just thin, so like maybe three or four. Oh. Thin to when. That's a trick for everyone at home. Always cut the deck. Well, see, I always see, call I call call this the onesie. Oh, just a little one there, because I know that's the one you wanted. Damn it! All right. Okay. Well, I six. I, I concede. GG. <laughs> GG. That cut was too powerful. <laughs> so <laughs> devastating. Draw your cards. Five of those and three of the gold ones. And then figure out if you want them. No, that's bad. So we draw three more. That's much better. And then for these, This actually is not that bad. I think we can get away with this. Right. Those are my objective cards. Uh, and then my play hand is this one. Not as good as it could be, but I think I'm gonna hang on to them, mainly for, for that guy. This one's pretty good too. Um, I don't know about the um, objectives, I might discard them. I wanna look at them again. Show the camera. I just know I can't get this one. Like, well, I might be able to get that one. I think I will hang on to these. I'll probably keep. I'll keep these. I'll keep them. I got this. Ready? I got. Uh oh, you got more support than me. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Thanks. I trained hard. All right, so I'm gonna place my lurking scave in here because he can dodge. He's got two dodge to start. Um, I'm gonna place my uh, big guy here, mainly because he's got four health before he flips. This guy's a loser, so I'm gonna put him back here because he doesn't matter very much. I'm gonna put my second in command guy right here. Um, is in position to get to objective one. I'm gonna stab the hell out of his general if he goes and he fights my dodgy guy. 
I'm going to put this guy in position to get to objective four. I'll put this guy here, because he's not that strong either. I'm going to put this guy over here because I don't care about him. I hate mad. This, this guy's pretty good. I'll put him here. All right, now we roll to see who gets to go first. Always roll on the board so it knocks the models everywhere, and then you can move them wherever you want. And then cut the deck. <laughs> then cut the deck, yes. So I get one crit auto for deploying first? Uh, and we tied, but he's got a bonus crit for deploying first, so. All right, so you get to decide who goes first. You can go first. Great. That's just what I wanted. Cheater. All right. So, I'm gonna make a charge. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, right here to Rune Daddy. And I'm gonna attack you. And I get nothing. So you, I mean, you can roll defense if you want. I like to, it's fun. All I right. got nothing too. Yeah, all right. So uh, now we go to play cards. I'll play sidestep. I'm gonna take this guy, and I'm going to move him one space back. And because I played sidestep, I get to flip my lurking Skaven. All right, here we go. What's the Skaven's flip condition? If they're targeted by a ploy. Oh. And, and the, when I say targeted, the word choose has to be in the text for the ploy card. And how do the fire slayers flip? By ending a action phase, but at the end of an action phase when you're doing your like wrap up, being on an objective they flip. Right. Hmm. Which is um, harder than it sounds. They also flip by playing um, inspirational strikes. So I'm gonna flip my second in command guy, this guy. Okay. I am not going to play anything. I'm not going to play anything either. Alright, so now it goes to your activation. Alright, I'll charge with the guy I just flipped. You got it. Three spaces up to there. My movement's three now that I've flipped. And I'm going to attack him. And we've got three looking for hammers. Oh boy. Well, I got two dodge dice, so let's see if I can get a crit. And I do. I'm safe. Cards? <coughs> nope, no cards. Alright, then it goes to me. That guy does three damage off the rip. Yeah, he does now. The he big... used to do two damage for two dice and one damage for three dice, but once he flipped, he does three. But the big boss, he does... Big Dust does three. Four when he flips. Wow. That's pretty nasty. I'm going to... I'm going to play a card. Okay. Before my activation. I'm going to swap these two fighters. Okay. And then I'm going to... Make a charge action. Right here. And I'm going to attack... Rune Dad with stretch and he's got support so one hit why do you have all the defense dice uh, well. <laughs> nope nope so i will how much damage do you do two i'm gonna push him right here No cards. Yeah, I won't play any cards either. All right, your activation. I will activate Rune Dad. Rune Dad will attack that mouse. That <laughs> poor mouse. He's got two dice. Looking for threes. For support. A oh crit boy. and support. I got to roll a crit and a success. A success. Yeah. No. Three damage. He's dead. It's all right. He can come back. And I get one gold doubloon. Let's see, I think I have an advantage here with Rune Dad in the corner because he can't move. So I'm gonna make a charge action with uh, Kirk the Almost Trusted if we're not gonna play any cards. Nope, I'll play any cards. Okay. All right, so I'll put him here. How far does he move? 
five. five. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm looking for hammers. Double success. You need a crit. Oh! <laughs> what? Oh, Welcome no. to Shade Spire. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this could be a critical fail. That could that could determine the game. Let's see what happens. He's only got three health, doesn't he? No, he's only got three health. I thought I was gonna succeed there. I had a pretty good shot at it. Ah, I think I'm just gonna attack him. Yeah, might as well. Two dice, looking for hammers. Third activation. Nope. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. You know, I played that really dumb. I'm gonna move this dude right here for my activation as long as you're not playing any cards. No, I'm playing cards. Okay. That was my final activation. I'm not gonna play any cards. I'm gonna spend my one gold coin to upgrade Rune Dad. I'm give him Zealous Defender. This fighter is considered to have an additional supporting fighter while they're holding an objective. Okay. And his, his move will be just to move over there. Got it. Oh, so I am safe. All right, so is that gonna be the uh, full turn? That'll be the full turn. Okay, any cards you wanna play? Um, well, I, w I get hold objective one. No, I mean like oh. play cards. No, no play cards. All right, I'm not gonna play any either. So we'll go to scoring. I scored hold objective five. Um, I've got hold objective one. I got greedy there at the end. I probably should have went for your general. I probably shouldn't have gone to your general, but it was like it felt like a really good play. So I missed out on two objectives, but I'm gonna hang on to them because they think they're pretty easy for me to get. Uh, so I only score one point. I'm going to discard tax supremacy three and four since three's way the hell over there. Yeah, that makes it tough just, for you. Uh, also gonna. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna discard War Song as a bowl upgrade. It's not the best card. It lets him be two supporting fighters, which is good, but I think in this scenario I'd rather just have more ploys. So I'll just hope for a better draw. I'm gonna discard both my keys. It's too early to have them. I really want more cards that cause my rats to flip. Especially Stretch. Four, so I'll draw four. And I'll draw one objective. All right, so we roll to see who gets first turn. Decides who gets first. Who gets at the side? Double crits. No crits. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry. Rune Dad's pretty quick now, right? Oh yeah, Rune Dad's quick now. And he's got three health left now. Three health. Yeah, so he's a little bit more, and he's got bonus defense when he's on an objective. Correct. Um, he gets support. Oh. Not as good as bonus defense. Is it on? Is it while he's on defense as well? Or just when attacking? He's considered to have additional support with his fighter while they are holding an objective. Oh no, it's... It's either way, right? Either way, yeah. Hmm. In that case, I'm going to spend my turn to move Stritch. Right there. Okay. Um, cards? No, no cards. Alright, I'm going to play... I'm going to play activated runes. Um, each time this fighter makes an attack action, reroll one dice. I'll put that on Rune Dad. Mm -hmm. Still no cards? None. I'm going to play Tantalizing Prize. The first friendly fighter to make um, to take a move action, the next activation can move to an additional two hexes. They end their move on an objective. Okay. Um, now, I believe a charge action is a move action, correct? It is a move and then it is a, um, an attack, so yes. Right. So I will move Room Dad. One, two, three, four. Yep. As a charge. Oh boy. An attack, scritch. Yep. Um, two dice, looking for hammers. I have a support for being on an objective. Yeah. An objective. Oh. Activated runes lets me reroll one dice, so I get double support or double success, I should say. I need a crit. Ah! 
He's dead. I did not see that coming. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. All right. Well, in that case, I have to play a little more aggressive. I'm going to, well, are you gonna play cards? Um. Oh, I also scored um, Furious Charge. Score this immediately if a friendly fighter takes out an enemy fighter out of action. Um, oh, another thing I should have said while I was talking about my cards, it's really good to put any score immediately card in your deck because you get to immediately draw back to three um, objectives. So it lets you cycle through your deck a little bit faster. No, I'm not going to play any cards. Okay, I am going to... What the hell hard do those guys hit? Uh, this guy's going to be hitting three hammers for and that's, three damage. That's him. that's him. Vol is two hammers for two, or two damage. And this asshole is three swords for one damage. Okay, all right. I am going to equip Kirk, the almost trusted, with the shade glass hammer. The almost trusted. <laughs> so, it's so good, isn't it? I'm gonna make a charge with Kirk on uh, your general. Okay. And make an attack with the shade glass hammer. Nothing. This is bad. Cards. No, no cards. All right. I pass. Your activation. I'll just move this guy onto an objective. All right. It's always good to grab objectives. Yeah. They're... When in doubt, objective out. Grab some objectives. All right. I think I'll also play um, Vampiric Weapon on Big Dude. Dead. Every time he makes a kill, he gets a wound back. Okay. Uh, so I'm not going to play anything. Do you want to play anything else? Nope. Okay. My activation, I'm just going to make a move here. I'm not going to play any cards. Okay. I will also not play cards. All right. Pass you. That was your second activation? Yeah. You're, you're one. You went first, so it'll be your third. No, I believe you went first because, um... Tretch ran away. Oh, Tretch ran away, you're right. This is third. Okay. Tretch ran away, then you attacked Tretch. And I attacked him and killed him. And then and then you move this guy, and now you're in your third. Oh, I'm on my third. Uh, okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I was gonna say, because I wouldn't have had to use movement shenanigans to get to Tretch before. Yeah. Forgot about that. Let's all have a moment of silence for missing Tretch Cream Tail. I know, it was, that's the worst. Tretch is a key part. <laughs> um, God, I don't have any. I don't have any plays. I think I'm just gonna move this guy forward. Okay. Cards. Um. Nope, no cards. Okay. So for my activation, I will discard and draw in an objective. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I had no cards to play. I'll move this guy here. Okay. Any cards? Uh, if you're passing, yes. Yeah, I'll pass. Okay. I'll play Confusion. I'm gonna switch to Adjacent Fighters. Okay. And then that flips uh, Kirk. I'm gonna use the Earth Shakes. Okay. And I'm going to push this guy here. Okay. Is that it? That is it. I'll pass. Do you no, want to play no. any of your cards? No, I got no cards to play. This is a really good turn for me. Uh, I score Supremacy because I have three objectives. Oh, yeah, you do. I score Our Only Way Out because I have three objectives. Shit. And I score Determined Defender for a total of six. Well, I have hold um, objective two, or four. I got one more coin. I was so worried you had Earthquake. 
I thought about pushing him off the thing, but I didn't think it would do anything for me. That was foolish. I should have known. That's she was a fighter. Oh and pushed wow. Them with X. Yeah, that. That's <laughs> that. That could have cost you the whole game. Epic misplay. <laughs> Epic misplay. Well, I didn't even think of it. You did kill Tretch. Yeah, yeah. that was pretty savage. Um, okay, so we do have a chance to play upgrades before we draw our hands or yep. fill our hands. That's correct. Um, going to play an upgrade on Festering Skaven, a Shade Glass Spear. Do you want to play anything? Um, sure. I'll, I'll put Hollowed Key on Mad Merigrim. That's the hold objective one, get, get two victory points. That's this guy here. Okay. So surprise, surprise. I wonder what he's, he's gonna do. Key. I wonder what he's gonna do next. <laughs> yeah, right. Next thing. Um. And then I'm also gonna be just discarding um, defensive strike. I just did kill someone in my territory, yeah. which probably won't happen. Let's see, I, I guess I could play this. Uh, I'll play Skitter Scurry. I'll play that on the Hungering Skaven, just so he has something. <laughs> well, he's way in the back. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, whatever. I'll play it on him, just so that way I don't lose everything on one guy. All right. That's that. Now we got to fill up our hands. You want to roll, see who gets to go first? Yeah, this gets is to choose to go first. I got a crit. It's you. I think I have to choose who to go first here. Or I just lose my bodyguard, and that's really important right now. So, I am going to go first, and I'm going to give it another go. Trying to kill Rune Dad here. Plant him here. Does he have any defensive buffs in that location? Nope. Okay. How much damage do you do? Three? Yeah. Potentially four, if I get a crit. Oh. So, here we go. Nothing. <laughs> How do you do so? Which one is three damage, he, really? He's got the shade glass hammer on. Oh, he's using shade glass hammer. But I'm getting some very, very poor rolls, so that's okay. All right. I'm not mad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he's never going to play Shade Spire again. Never. <laughs> I'm never going to play this again. Um, I'm going to play um, Grimnir's Fortitude and give Rune Dad plus one defense. Okay. He's invincible. All, all my upgrades pretty much have gone to him. I'm gonna play Kirk on Kirk. I'm gonna play Soul Trap. And so if you try to kill him and you try and you succeed, uh, if I roll a shield or a crit, he instead just survives. Okay. I'm just gonna attack with Rune Dad. You got it. Go for it. Two dice. Looking for hammers. Nothing. Activated runes, let's make you roll one dice. Uh, is that cock? Yeah. 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 I mean, no. I, uh, it worked that time. Alright, you got it. Give it to you. I can use shield. Got it. You got can it. push him. Um, I will not, though. Okay. I like him right where he's at. Alright, cards? When you block, it doesn't mean the action failed, correct? That was a failed attack action. I'm gonna play Osworn. What's that mean? It's a reaction, play this after friendly attack fails, attack again. Yeah, go for it. Two looking for hammers. A crit, a crit and a hammer. hammer. Oh! All right, so he will survive if I roll either a shield or a crit, and he doesn't, he's dead. Okay. And because of Vampiric weapon, I take away one wound. Uh, do you want to play cards after your action? No. Okay. I will play a card. I'm going to play Flickering Step. I gotta roll eight dice. <laughs> and for each, I, and after I roll eight dice, I choose a guy. All right, so I rolled one crit. I'm gonna choose him, so he flips. And I get to move him one space. Do you want to play any cards? Nope. All right, I am going to play Incredible Strength. 
And I'm gonna give that to my Festering Skaven, the guy that just moved. So that way he can potentially deal three damage <laughs> with his spear. All right. Okay. Uh, do you want to play any cards? Nope. Uh, all right, I'll make an attack action against your rune dad again. Two successes. You get two defense dice now? Yep. One success. So I take the damage, three. It's a total of three, and my shade glass spear is destroyed. Okay. But I think it kills him, right? Five health, and I've only got one wound. I thought I did two damage to him with stretch. Yeah, and I have vampiric weapon. Every time I take a fighter out of action, I remove one wound token. Oh my god. I even said out loud I was removing it. I forgot about that. And I didn't roll a crit. Okay. Then I I passed you. I'll just do that. It's charged there. Okay. Got two dice. Yep. Looking for hammers. I have support for being on an objective. Okay. So that's one success and a crit. Well, I got to roll a crit and no, nope, he's dead. Okay. Anything else? Um, I'll you play... You heal one. Heal one, thank you. Yep. And I'll play Confused Priorities. What's that do? Switches two objectives. I'll switch three and five. Okay. All right, I will play There Are Always More and return my dude to the battlefield. Okay. That's everything I got. All right. Um, so this is gonna be my next activation. I will attack Rune Dad with uh, my regular attack. He didn't. No, he didn't charge. I just no, killed him. Yeah. yeah, he just killed. Him. One hit. Uh, two successes. Yeah. So I can't even do anything. I'm just gonna charge him with this guy. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. I'll attack. So I got three dice looking for hammers for three damage. One support. One crit. I gotta roll crit here. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, that's game. I can't win now. What do you got, one activation left? We, what is this, end of two? Uh, the problem. This is end of three, isn't it? We might as well play it out. There's only one more round. Yeah, we have to play it out. No, this is the last round. Yeah, it is. No, we'll play it out. I don't think I can win, though. Uh, all right. Uh, so my activation? Yep. I'm going to move here. And the way I do that is I have Skitter Scurry, so... Oh, no, I can't use Skitter Scurry on him. That's an illegal play. So that card is out. Um... Yeah, I can't do anything. Can I draw a more favorable objective? Um, well, there's only one objective in my deck that uh, I can score from here. And... You've only got one left. I've, I've, I already know what that is. It's denial. He's gamed it. You didn't cut the deck enough. He's counting cards, folks. Yeah, that was, I can't play that on him, that was illegal. Um, what does it let you do? It looks like it's character specific. It's, it's character specific, yeah. Oh, after any action, that, oh, after any action you can push, oh, that's nice. Oh man. Shade Spire, I'll just attack. Charge, why not? Failed. <laughs> Every roll has been bad. Like it just, and if I fail it, he succeeds on a save. So yeah, that one crit where Rune Dead survived literally is what won me the game. It was that one dice roll. He so far survived. He survives everything. He's an asshole. That's how he. That's how he rolls. 
I'm the just gonna only move. attack that I made, I'm objective one is you my last. saved him with the Empiric Weapon. Well, that, you made that one attack where I was four health, had two damage with him, and I saved it with a crit. Yeah. And I needed to save it with a crit. Yeah. And this game would have, I would have absolutely lost this game if I hadn't rolled that crit. Well, let's score the points. You remove him there. I don't have anything to do anything with, so like that's it for me. I scored nothing. And I, I have score objective three, and I, I get two points for the hollow key. I could have gotten score objective two as well, but I charged in instead of taking objective two. One, because I wanted Rune Dead to have support if I failed the attack, and two, if I didn't fail the attack, I'd get a coin for killing him. So, so I'm, it's a, I actually misplayed. I could have combined misdirection with flickering step to get one more coin. But I... I, um, I misplayed I and goofed. gave you literally like six coins. Yeah, you did. I but should have known. That's, why else would you do more. that but to have three objectives? Um, that was very foolish. Yeah, I think you probably should have. Also, I mean, that. I don't know if you thought you were denying me one. That's kind of what I thought is you thought you were denying me one, which you did. You yeah. denied me get objective two. Okay. I thought it was denial. I didn't even consider. So what did you score? I scored hold objective three. Uh, I didn't get hold objective two because I charged you instead to get a coin by killing you. And I get two more with the hollowed key. So I scored four more, three more in total. I had a total of... I had seven. I have 11. Nice. Pretty close game, all things considered. Yeah, there were a lot of key moments where if I had gotten a successful die roll, that game would have just been completely different. Yeah. I think you got some really, really important key die rolls. That crit? That one crit. That was, that was pivotal. Yeah. And then the other one that was really important was just like you happen to get vampiric weapon on rune dad and the, and that ability that you re-roll or that card at the same time that let you attack again. Yeah. And if you didn't get that, I was just going to like I forgot I had that I card was gonna too. Murder him. Oh, that was so annoying. <laughs> That's a great card. Yeah, it's better than I thought. There's a there's a skelly version of it too that is it almost feels like an auto include. Yeah. Because if you fail an attack, you always want to try again. You know? Thoughts? Um, I love this game. I love it too. I think it's excellent. I think that it's best played. Best two out of three. As you can see, this game is really swingy depending on pivotal, pivotal die rolls. That mm -hmm. crit he rolled just like... Won me the game. Damn near. Yeah, it probably won you the game. I, I, I have no doubt that it won me the game. Um... And, and that's how this game goes. Like, yeah, there's a lot of strategy to it. Uh, and I made a couple of misplays, I know that. I, I could have gotten one more point, but overall, it, it, in the grand scheme of things, it didn't matter. I still would have lost. Uh, but it's, yeah, this, it gets snowball-y, too. You it know, definitely you start, does. You start doing one or two things good, all of a sudden, you're just outpacing them. Yeah, and you're getting all the equipments, and, yep. and you have a lot of money, and they can't afford anything, and you can afford all the things. Fortunately, you let me get away with that, uh, <laughs> that six, six points, and I was just like, all right, well, I can do a lot of things now, and I could potentially win this, but I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I, if I had Oops. a good hit on, on Rune Dad in that, well, there was that time, and then there was the second time here where I failed the attack, mm -hmm. and then... You killed him. Dead. And I attacked back, and he wasn't dead because he gained a life as a killer. Because he just wrecks Yeah, and I was just like, oh man. Yeah, Rune Dad really. Rune Dad's nuts. Rune Dad really survived. Rune Dad's crazy. Like and subscribe. Or else. Yeah, and tell us if you like Shade Spire. Yeah. It's. Nice. Or I'll get salty. <laughs> <laughs> or Taylor will get salty. That's right. And make sure you check out WeMe as well as our Facebook page. Yeah, we're on there too now. Yeah. Yep. Taylor is not on Facebook. Don't look for him. Well, I mean, technically I'm on Facebook. Yeah, you just forgot your password. I forgot my password. I don't care enough to go through and recognize people. So if photos. you can hack Taylor's Facebook page oh. for him. Go, go for it. Oh no, I'm just giving them permission. Now if they do, <laughs> they use that in a court of law. Well, he said I could. Always cut the deck. Cut then to when? Always cut the deck.